What's up, my babies? It's your girl Nikki, and I'm back with another video, you guys. And today is part two of my whole surgery process in Colombia. I know you guys have been waiting for this video. You guys loved the first video, and I'm so happy that I can give you guys all the information on my surgery. Um, if you guys didn't know. If I wasn't clear in the first video, I got my surgery in Cali, Columbia by Dr. Penna. Um, and I went to Lux Recovery Home. Everybody, my whole experience was a 10 out of 10. Super amazing. From the doctor to my recovery home to the food at the recovery home. So shout out to them. Make sure you guys go and book with them. Mind you guys, this is I paid full price for my surgery. I paid full price for the recovery home. But I just... It's for the girls. This is not for promo or anything like that. Make sure you guys go and book with them and tell them Neek sent you. Because I just absolutely love them. Love their service. Love what they're doing. Um, I love how safe I felt at the recovery home. Especially, you know, being so vulnerable and being kind of at your lowest and healing. It was definitely a great environment. Super beautiful. And the food was amazing. And the nurses... And the cooks and all the workers at the um, recovery home was so amazing. Uh, my experience was just very, very smooth other than me kind of like recovering from uh, the whole thing. But I go more into depth into everything in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I talked a lot, but you know, it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting me. I see all of the amazing comments and all the positivity and um yeah i don't see much negative other than like people saying they were kind of like disappointed in me but it's always backed up with something super positive so i love that thank y'all so much for going on this journey with me and tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed the video oh yeah and i got a surprise for y'all y'all some of y'all gonna be disappointed in me but i don't give a fuck so this is my stomach i got slight light ab edging on my stomach and y'all know how my belly button was like lower i feel like y'all can't see it in pictures you would really have to be there to see it because even kiana was like i didn't know that you you had so much loose skin i had a lot of loose skin from having cotton so my stomach was flat but it wasn't very much it wasn't super tight so um i got something for that and as you can see my belly button i'm really loving it because my belly button is like sitting up more and then y'all I decided because with Dr. Penna you pay the same price for everything like it was gonna be 6500 for anything that you wanted like if you wanted to get a BBL it's $6,500 if you wanted to oh wait, no it's $6,000 my arms was extra $500 as you can see my arms are super bruised arms was $500 the surgery itself was like yeah Oh, the surgery itself was five thousand. Surgery itself was five thousand. So um, my arms. So my original price was fifty five hundred. And then whether I wanted to get anything done to my hips or not, it was gonna be the same price because with him, your first round is five thousand. Your second, if you had a second round, third, fourth round, whatever it was, it's automatically six thousand. So whether you wanna get a BBL, just like oh, that's the prices. So you guys, I got my hips filled, but they're not super dramatic. I actually like love them. And this is the first day where they're like super swollen. And I thought the first day was gonna scare me a lot, but it didn't. And I have a diaper on right now, but I got my hips filled. And it is what it is, I'm grown. I don't have to explain it to y'all. It's because I wanted to. The plan wasn't to get them done. But when he see me, he said, oh, baby, so sexy with the hips. You already have perfect ass, yes, perfect boobs. Perfect booty, might as well get the hips. So I did it. And I think I'm gonna like it because it's not dramatic. I'm not much bigger than what I was before. And I still got a lot of swelling and I'm happy. I prayed a lot on it and it's what I did. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna vlog a little bit when Kiana get back home because she just texted me, said she woke up and they didn't let her leave because she was a little dizzy. But if y'all wanna see her video, go to her channel. But other than that, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I think I'm a little late anyways because I still have the pain medication for um, 
from like today so they told me tomorrow is probably gonna be much worse so i'll give you guys the tea on the worst but when i woke up painless i was painless when i woke up the only thing i could feel is semi is my arms because you use them to push you up but i would rate the pain a four maybe i was when i woke up i was really really painless right now i could tell that like kind of my medicine is wearing off and i just talked to kiana and she was like girl why i woke up painless like not feeling nothing i was like yeah you feel good but anyways i don't want to be standing up too much i'm supposed to be laying down i just didn't want to do this video for y'all and show y'all what i look like but i did get hips i did get lipo 360 and i got my arms so y'all know i'm always be real with y'all keep it real with y'all earlier in the video i said i wasn't but i did it and they just like that little tiktok said i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i did it so judge your mama not me God bless you all. Love. You guys. Sorry, I'm so fucking close. <laughs> hey, y'all. This is the second day. Kiana's back there. Say hi, Kiana. Girl, good oh. fucking vibe. Hey, y'all. You know how they get it. They're going to say, uh-uh. I didn't like Kiana's energy in right. this video. I'm going like, to pay. Uh, I'm going to play a lot. Like, uh, y'all, she's just kidding. She kids. She kids. But... What else for say? I feel terrible. Kiana feels terrible. Kiana didn't get home until 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. I was super sick, fresh out of surgery. I got out at 8 or something, I think. Whenever I vlogged y'all, she was super sick after surgery. She got home at 3 a.m. I just kept calling her and checking on her, make sure she got here. Everybody did, her mama, my mama, and me. But she finally made it, and she's healthy. So that's good. She's just bleeding a little bit more than me. I'm bit. not a lot more than me. She's leaking out of pads. Like, she's going through pads and pads of blood every time she pee. She's just leaking. And I haven't had no leak throughs yet. Really? At all. I don't even have no leak throughs. So I don't I know. Drink be fast. Mm. I think it's. I think that's what it is. She drank in Italy, and that was like a few. What? It's a week. A week ago. It was a week before her surgery, a week and some days before her surgery. And I have been stopped drinking. So, mm. you guys remember to not drink before your surgery at least fucking two, three weeks because it's a difference. Emergency. Yeah, huh? Gonna call the murder scene. Yeah. It's gonna cause a murder scene. It looks like a murder scene. Every time she pee or walk, she's tripping everywhere. Also, I got the cell saver for me to some blood but her um was it hot yeah hemoglobin was 13.8 her her was her hemoglobin was 13.8 so she didn't get it but i feel like it helped me but my hemoglobin was shit 12.1 it's very very low so i don't know just want to come in here and show you guys our breakfast i got fruit um sausage eggs and pancakes and orange juice and Kiana got something different when she got pineapple juice. I should have got me some pineapple juice because that helped us well. And let me call. Let me call. Eat your pineapple. You do have pineapple juice. That's what it is. Oh, that's what it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, they was going to be so pissed at me if I would have called. Mm -hmm. I said, can I get pineapple juice? They said, mommy, that's pineapple juice. But today is so much worse. And it's only 9.18. I have a massage at 12. Kiana massage said what? 1130 I'm irritated 1130 at least you get to go first and get it out of the way but her massage is at 1130 mine's at 12 I, we feel horrible like it's yesterday I felt better the medicine is wearing off but bye y'all see y'all later also you guys we've been up since 6 a.m. because the lady she wakes in give us a pill and a shot at 6 a.m. then she comes back in at 8 a.m. what is it at 9 a.m. Sorry, she's struggling. She's trying to get up. I'm struggling. Mm, she hurts so bad. It's under my ribs. I mean, under my breath. It's my ribs that hurts so bad. It's, it's tragic, y'all. But I, she just came in at nine something, whatever it was, and gave us our food and two more pills. I think pain medication, inflammation medication. She gave us the shot in our arm so that way uh, we won't have any blood clocks. And we get that every day at 6 a.m. It's not a painful shot. It don't feel like nothing because I think the needle really scared. Hey, do you supposed to put on deodorant or that's not like? I'm putting on deodorant after before my massage because, hold on. 
<laughs> Y'all, we couldn't even put on no lotion, no deodorant, no nothing. So, it's a lot going on. And she's bleeding a lot. Kiana's bleeding a lot, a lot. I just stink. So, she probably smell like blood and a whole bunch of other stuff. But, it's okay. We're, we're alive and we're snatched. Uh -uh. But, I'll see you guys a little later. No, I must be. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So... It's been two days since our surgery and we did two massages, one the day after our surgery and then one today. And then today we had got to put on our first Faha, our stage one Faha. It's really no compression, but uh, it feels really good to just have something like holding it all together, y'all. This today has been very, very painful. This is my body. It has a lot of pads. Like I have Buku pads right here. And uh, I have a Buku pads on right now. I have a lot of padding. I'm trying to get it where y'all can kind of see. We've been bleeding a lot, but we have, have Buku pads in right here. This is what it's looking like from the back. Super happy that I decided to get hips. Like I said, y'all, it's the same price. And I do see it like a little bit more curvy in my body, if y'all can see. And this is just two days after surgery. My naked pictures are fire, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and Kiana's been a little nauseous, but she's doing well in her body. Her naked pictures are 10 out of 10 of you and her close friends. Then you got blessed that day. She's laying down like I'm a granny. I'm so nauseous, you guys. Like, I don't like feeling like this. Yeah, she's super, super nauseous, but. Uh, we take this medicine to do our uh, massages, like a liquid pain medicine. And we only took 15 drops today. And it was terrible. So tomorrow we're going to try to take like 25. Because the first day, I took a lot of drops. Like, I think I took like at least 30. <laughs> at least 30 drops. But the only thing about it is, it really made me about to pass out. Like, I was so weak. Um, I, I seen, all I seen was black. I was so dizzy. It was just horrible. But I didn't feel no pain. But today, I felt a lot of pain. And I was less dizzy. So... Yeah, we just about to chill, drink some water. I'll show you my body in a different light right now. See, Her this is it. super tea. Her? Pretty What's this? What the hell is that? Shitting on Perky ass. Perky ass. Perky Sh shit. Sitting and shitting. <laughs> Perfect body. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And mind you, I got a lot of padding in so there. Just imagine without the padding. That's cool. I know. Imagine without the padding if it looked this snatch with the padding. But loving my results. Shout out to Dr. Pena. Right before the birthday. Right before my birthday. My birthday is January 13th. We're going to Miami. I'm so excited. Yes, we have we got one to Miami. I'm a vlog. I got we got a house. We got our flights all while we was laying in the bed. <laughs> Hurting from surgery. We planned the whole trip. Kiana helped me, so shout out to her. Not hey. hey. <laughs> but so we just finna lay down and chill. Right now, that's all we've been doing is laying down and chilling and walking around the pool. We get our so, oh to Lux Recovery Home. This place is so amazing, y'all. Like literally, we just feel so at home here, and the nurses is so nice. Look, she probably coming. Is she coming to our room? No, she's not coming to our room. But the nurses are here. It's so nice. I got my Felicia braids in, so this whole vlog, y'all will see us with the bonnet off. Because, child, we look crazy. Oh, <laughs> Keanu over here wasting stuff. Okay, y'all. TTYO. Okay, you guys, so it's like day three. I was trying to find your camera everywhere. I was looking all up in everything, and I couldn't find it. It's day three after our surgery, and this is Lux Recovery Home. We, of course, we be the baddest ones, y'all. Literally, it's probably midnight right now. We be the only ones in the kitchen, searching for food, searching for Doritos, eating stuff, walking around. <laughs> Look at Kiana. Y'all, we literally twins from head to toe. Let me show y'all. Well, not toes. Uh. 
Do the dance. Booties, 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 booties. <laughs> oh, our bodies are like. I never knew how tall, or how much taller I was than you. Oh, I'm much taller than you, huh? See, look. A little bit. Surgery, sisters. We've been having these bondings on for the last ten days. <laughs> Man. <sighs> and yesterday was the worst day of my life. It was so bad for both of us. Kiana cried like three times. Today was the worst day. Oh yeah, yeah. Yesterday was for me. Today might have been your worst day for sure. Today was terrible, and it's still terrible. I still feel really, really, really nauseous. Yeah. You it's still feel bad? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to pull through it. I don't feel that bad. It's like I get a 10 minute break. I feel completely normal. 10 minutes. And it's like, boom. It hit me again. Where do I start? 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 Where do I Every single day, I almost passed out twice today and yesterday. Oh, um, we so swollen and stiff. We it's leave good. on the twenty eighth. Y'all probably like the body's not giving, but I got so many pads on. Yeah, y'all, we got so many. She got so many pads on. Literally, imagine if her stomach looked like this right now, and she's completely padded up. Imagine how small her stomach is. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, we haven't, I really haven't been recording nothing because I feel like the days is just the same day over and over and over again. We leave on the 28th, it's currently the 21st. We trying to see if we gonna even be healed by then because we still got fluid coming out. We still feel like shit, like. <sighs> I thought about third day we'll be like, yeah, okay. No, third day we'll Still feel like we got hit by a bus. Third day is that up to ass. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to throw up. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to poop. So. I've been trying to throw up for the past 72 hours. Oof. I mean, that could be not for 72 hours, so. It's been really bad. And then we woke up fatter than we was before. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I woke up so fat. Like, I was so swollen everywhere. And even my arms, y'all. They had to put double diapers on this arm because... It has so much fluid it has on it. It a lot of fluid in there. Yes, it's like a big arm, y'all. Is this one bigger than this one? Y'all probably don't see it. Do y'all see that? This arm's smaller. This one has so much fluid in it. Mm -hmm. And this is the most, this one's so painful. The most, the most fluid going to hurt the most. The inside, the most fluid going to hurt the most. We've been getting shots every, oh. Oh, girl. We've been getting shots every morning. Mm. For, to, so we wouldn't get blood clots. And then today we got two shots to check our arm oh. and then our arm was low so we ended up having to get another IV to for our fucking iron bag it's just a lot we just been going through hell like literally getting poked all day Kiana got poked because she got small veins got poked like six seven times mm -hmm. feel like it's and hell I'm miserable here no it's, it's, a, good, it's, it's a good place it's a good place but like my recovery experience it's miserable within my body, not the nurses. So. Yeah, the nurses are amazing. The place is amazing. It's very homey here. Everything is amazing, but our bodies is whooping our asses. And I don't know if it's what we did before we came into surgery. Maybe we didn't prep the correct way. And I think that's what's whooping our ass too. But day three, after surgery, we've been here for like a week. But yeah, mm. six days. Today makes a week. Today's Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been here a full week, but wow. um, three days into surgery. Tomorrow will be, well, it's technically four days because tomorrow, it's already tomorrow. It's like 12 something. We sit in the kitchen. It's 12 something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's 12 something. So day four. Okay. It's going to be better. Stomach to eat my food. I got the stomach to eat it and it was so good. What? The chicken and rice. Everything was so good, y'all. Kiana ain't been eating her food because she ain't had an appetite, but I've been dogging shit, okay? I want a dog shit. <laughs> she even had an appetite. Oh, y'all, the food been so good. 
barbecue chicken and rice, mm. salmon and mashed potatoes, grilled chicken and mashed potatoes, mm. burritos, fajitas, and everything, taco, everything. Oh, taco shit. Every, it's a different meal every single day unless you request the same. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm starting to get itchy back. Oh, I got so much padding on. Oh. But other than that, I do recommend 10 out of 10 coming with a friend because I feel like if I didn't come with Kiana, we would have been going insane. Like literally, it's, it gets yeah, lonely. Each other crazy. Yes. Like myself crazy, I mean, without having nobody. Yeah, looking at these four walls is crazy. Which, the staff is there, but you do get a lot of privacy, so you be in the room. Well, we be in the room by ourselves. Unless you come here and meet a friend, of course. Because they have like rooms you can share, but I do recommend. Look at her walking like an old lady. I do recommend <laughs> coming with a friend. Get you a little sartre, sister. It's the holidays, y'all. We're going to be here for Christmas. <sighs> they festive. Nice little furniture. So nice in here. Let me show y'all. Mind y'all, I got a whole bunch of padding on. My little hips. I got a whole bunch of, I'm very, very, I got a lot, a lot of padding on, but this still look good. I'm just happy I got a little bit of hips. All I asked for was like very, very natural hips. And he did really good. When I first came in, y'all, he said, no baby, to be sexy, you need hips. <laughs> so, I got him. And look at that ass. Hopefully I don't get, um, Red for this, but I can't wait to show y'all. It can lose the humps. I'm, I'm out. That's it for tonight, y'all. All right, you guys. So it is currently Christmas Day, and we're still here at the recovery home. It's December 25th, and we've just been napping all day. I don't remember really the last time we talked to you guys. Uh, it's day seven after our surgery it's been a complete week after our surgery um feeling good currently right now we have one well, i'm sitting on my butt but i didn't really get anything into my butt it was really on my side so it really don't matter but i hope it don't kill my side fat if that matter i don't know if that's a thing but like my hips but i think it's fine um, I've already had like a nice round butt, so it don't really matter if I sit on it. I don't think I'm killing anything that I already had. Um, anyways, it's so sad we had to be away from our family. Um, last night I did Christmas on FaceTime with my son and my family, and it was so nice. And uh, Kaiser was supposed to go to Disney World this morning, but my mom and them ended up missing a flight. And it was just like a whole bunch of stuff, but. It's been pretty lonely. Um, me and Kiana are pretty much keeping each other company. She over there sleep. We just been trying to sleep the day away because it sucks being away from my family because both of us are super like family oriented. But um, we really wanted to get our bodies done. Y'all know my birthday's in January and um, me getting my body done was a gift to myself for Christmas, for my birthday, for whatever. I just wanted to get it done. It was something that, you know, I just wanted to get done before the new year. Um, yeah, so we ended up getting inflammation shots. I don't remember if I told you guys, but we ended up getting inflammation shots on day six. Oh no, well, today came, oh yeah, we ended up getting inflammation shots on day five, which was two days ago. And ever since then, the third and fourth day was horrible, like super painful, the worst days of our lives. Like literally, Kiana was crying. I was like going through it, it was super painful. Day five is when we got the inflammation shots and everything just started to feel more better like we started to like see our body and not be so swollen um uh yeah so the last few days has been a breeze we've actually uh, put on faja like our second this is our stage two fajas i'm wearing a size medium stage two faja um let me show y'all I'm wearing a size medium stage two for her. And this is what it looks like. 
It really make us look crazy because we look like Oompa Loompas because we have so much like stuff inside of us. Like I got a phone board on, I got an app board and a board on the back. It just looks super, look how crazy my booty look. And I just feel super, super stuff right now. Let me show you guys what we do to like, like, um, get her blood flowing and stuff. It's crazy, my mom just sent me pictures. Her doctor told us to um, walk a lot. So what me and Kiana do is we just come out here and do laps around the pool just to like keep ourselves moving and stuff like that because it's important to walk. It's important to like keep moving around and making your blood flow. Like I said, y'all, if I didn't tell y'all, every morning at 6 a.m., a nurse comes in, gives us a shot, which is for blood clots, which is cool. I don't see anybody out here. Yeah, it looks like it's been a rain, but we just walk around the pool. Um, it's so, it, it, what I can say is that this experience is very boring, but having a friend makes up for it and it just gives you time to like, just get a break from like everything that's happening in life and just kind of reset and refocus and heal. Like, you know, in the States, you kind of have to jump back into the house and your house and go back home i feel like in miami especially they kind of just oh did i tell y'all on um day five they took my stitches out i have stitches under my boob i have stitches over my cooch and i also have stitches in my back in between my bed my butt crack but um Anyways, I feel like and they took my stitches out on day five. Also gave me an inflammation shot. Ever since my surgery, I've been getting massages. We've been getting massages every single day. It's not a day that went by that we didn't get a massage and let out fluid. They open our cuts with a razor every single time. In the States, they don't open your cut. Well, I'm not sure, but um, from like what my friends tell me, they don't open your cuts. If you close early, you kind of just got to get the fluid out by pee. Here, every time we get a massage, they it's not painful. It sounds painful, but it's not. Every time we get a massage, they cut our um, they cut our incisions open so that way the fluid can just run out. So we get that every single day around the same time. Tomorrow, um, we leave on the 28th, so it's the 25th right now. We have basically two more days because on the 28th we leave 6 a.m so we gotta be gone from the house at like 4 or 3 a.m to be honest because it's an hour away from the airport but uh what was i trying to say so tomorrow yeah but it gives you a chance i cut myself off but it gives you a chance to kind of just like relax sit back and actually heal and be chilling because they really do take care of you here at lux recovery home like i'm telling y'all they take care of you like definitely spoiled us like to the t when it comes to like bathing bandages anything you need these nurses get down and dirty every single day and like they make you feel so comfortable and like these nurses have seen everything literally every inch of my body probably touched every inch of my body and it just makes they just really take care of you they really spoil you they give you a button after you get your sur surgery you can click it for anything feed you breakfast lunch and dinner and what i like about this place is that everything is fresh and they also um juice for you so we don't drink any like cold drinks and stuff like that which you can order on your own but they juice fresh fruit for you in the kitchen and it's just a really great experience i'm very spoiled i'd kind of it's like i want to go home because i'm bored but i don't know if nobody's gonna take care of me like how because like at home i'm just gonna be eating fast food and shit but here they really stick you to a diet stick you to your massages like it's you can't get off track here like for the first two weeks of your surgery you literally have to you literally on the perfect diet you're literally getting your massages every day at the same around the same amount of time 
Um, you're eating what you're supposed to eat. You're drinking what you're supposed to eat. You get it taken care of how you're supposed to be taken care of. Um, and yeah, you're taking your meds on time because they're making sure that they give you your meds. It's just a complete recovery experience that is very important. I think it's very important for the body. So, yeah. Uh, but other than that, tomorrow, so what's to come is we only technically have two days left here, which I'm so excited about. But uh, tomorrow we're going to go and meet probably with Dr. Penna. And just like we don't see him during the day i mean during the after your surgery you don't really see him for a week but every time we get a massage our people take pictures our masseuse or whatever they take pictures of our body and send them to him every day so so that he can see like suggest stuff for us suggest um us to wear like suggest like what's better for our body how we looking and stuff like that so yeah so we probably get to go to Pinna tomorrow, either tomorrow or Wednesday we go to Pinna. So he can look at our body and stuff like that. Have like a little post-op post meeting with him. And then we're going to go to Miss Contour and get some more Fajas. Because y'all know in the States, my arms look so little though. Y'all, my butt look like a dump truck. And I swear y'all, like... <laughs> And Fajas, my butt just look like dump trucks. Like, it look like Pinot Gino right now. That shit look a little too fat. And I just look like stuffed. But, um, what else we gonna say? Tomorrow we're going to Miss Contour to get us some Fajas. So, cause y'all know they be way more expensive in the States. So we are gonna go get some just to have at home and get some smaller sizes because both of our files are way too big now like they fit right now with all the compression stuff in them but when we take it out and it's nothing in there these are entirely too big for our waist like we shrunk so much since the first day in the first week we shrunk like so many inches um what else so we're gonna go do that we're gonna go to some malls or something and we're just gonna go around the city and just see the stuff we need. Mostly just to go to get more Fajas. And then we take our vitamin C shots tomorrow. I don't know if it's shots or IVs. We're supposed to be taking something. It's supposed to be helping us with whatever, child. They just take care of you. And then after that, we're going to pack our clothes and get ready to leave. And then I'll vlog like my flight experience or how I travel. Um, I think our flight is like nine hours back home to Houston because we have two stops so I'll show you guys how we travel with child at this point BBLs like I literally came to Columbia for lipo y'all and got a whole fat transfer into my motherfucking hips and this this doesn't show anything like y'all don't even I'll show y'all a picture but try I'm not trying to get copywritten I mean I'm not trying to get uh I don't want to get yellow flag, but I'll try to show you guys a peach. I've been, I got so many new pictures of me because I like my body so much, but I can't really show y'all any because they so nude. Let me see. I'm trying to cut it out. Y'all can see that, but I got so many new pictures this faha doesn't really do any justice especially with it being stuff but yeah okay well now that i'm here i'll go around and show you guys a little bit of what the house looks like more but try to i'll show you how it all the spot room where we get massages but somebody might be in there this is like the little house Super clean, it's always clean, and somebody always clean your room every single day. Every single day, you get new sheets, clean room. When you're getting a massage, you literally go and um, somebody comes in your room and cleans your room. Hi. Hi, Hi. Somebody comes in and cleans the whole entire room and everything. I don't know if it's open, but I don't know if anybody in here. 
I don't want to walk in here, but this is like the little front door. And back there is like where you get the massages. So you rarely ever leave after um after surgery. Uh that's this thing called an oxygen tank. I'll insert a video of it, y'all. It's like an oxygen chamber that they put you in. You're supposed to get oxygen. I only did it one time because I just feel like it didn't fit me. Back here is more rooms. But, and they have a little movie theater. I wonder if somebody can. Hi. Hey. This is nice. Hey. Nothing. Y'all didn't find us to come watch a movie. What you watching? Oh, y'all doing Twitter? Hmm? Y'all doing content? Tired of these I was, can I I just woke up. What content you doing? I'm just vlogging. I did like a whole um, surgery video. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. look at you. I'm gonna try not to get you, but look y'all. They got a whole little movie theater in here. So you can watch movies. <laughs> and they got nice little white couches. I might come back in here. What y'all watching? I don't watch a movie. We can watch a movie. Let's watch a Christmas movie. Yeah, we watching uh, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't want to watch a Christmas movie? Um, what's Force. It? Force, yeah. Feel like, come on. Come well, on. we should yeah. watch a real movie. It don't have to be a Christmas movie. Okay, Just let me movie. know a time. Pick a movie. So we can be prepared. No, bitch, you pick a movie. Pick a movie. <laughs> Any movie. You pick a Christmas movie. I don't got no Christmas movies. Is this on? Do they show? Netflix? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, well y'all let me know when y'all finish this movie. Got a movie theater in there. Little waterfall. Let me see if this got something. Oh, nobody's in here. This is the spa where we get all of our massages. Mind you, they wash your clothes every day. This is where we got all of our massages. Super clean. As you can see, we have our name on our, um, they spelled my name completely fucking wrong, but we have our name, this is mine, <laughs> on our own little massage stuff. This is where we get our massages every day. They wash our clothes. Anything we have dirty, we, they give us dirty clothes, hampers. Anything that's dirty, wash it for us every single day. Wash our files every single day. As we take, we wear our stage two files. So, we wear our stage two files during the, I mean, to sleep. We wear our stage one files. I mean, we wear our stage one files to sleep. We wear our stage two files to walk around in every day. So, when we put our stage two files on to go to sleep, by the time we wake up in the morning at six o'clock in the morning, our um our stage two for houses washed and already put in our room and ready to be put on after our massages so put on a stage two for house we go to sleep go to sleep wake up we have our stage one our stage two for house there i'm i'm getting confused stage one stage two they put on the black ones child and then Put on the black ones we do all day in the black ones and that's when they wash the stage ones which is the new ones and then we put on the um new ones when we go to sleep they wash these and have these ready for us at 6 a.m to put on but we get massages at like my massages is like around from 10 30 to like 12 30. so when i wake up in the morning they feed us breakfast around nine they give us our shot at 6 a.m Feed us our breakfast at like 9, 9.30. We take all of our medicine and then we take this thing called Trimadol, which helps with our massages, kind of like a liquid painkiller. And then after that, we end up going to go get my massages, which is butt ass naked. And then when we get back in the room, they have a nurse in there that's helping you shower. You can shower yourself. We shower ourselves. They help us put all our bandages and stuff back on and stuff us into our stage two for house. We wear those, ew. We wear those all day. And then do it all over again. So, just wanna come in here and chat with you guys show you guys what this is our room right here it's a double bed 
Got a little shower. I don't know what they be doing. Nobody really be out here, but yes, you guys. I don't want to talk while Kiana's sleeping, so I just want to come out here and give you guys a little rundown of the recovery home and the recovery process. What I can say is that two, day two, three, and four are the worst days of my life. Day two wasn't that bad, but three and four, worst days of my life, worst pain of my life, super painful and uncomfortable. But that fifth day, all the pain goes away and you're fine. And everything is manageable and everything is 10 times more comfortable. The massages, everything is just better. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I, I wanted to be, I wanted this video to be like something that I didn't have when I was looking for, when I was thinking about going to Dr. Penna, when I was thinking about going to Lux Recovery Home. I wanted this video to be, when I was thinking about getting surgery in Columbia, I wanted this video to be something that I didn't have. So if this video helps my girls in any type of way, y'all thinking about getting y'all body done, y'all want to get y'all body done, y'all want to go to a good doctor, y'all want to go to a safe, good recovery home that treats you well, treats everybody well, F amazing food, y'all, like everything is super seasoned and nice. If y'all, you know, I wanted to give y'all kind of like the blueprint of everything and kind of see the inside because I would watch videos and I would see tiny snippets, but they wasn't telling me enough. So I was like, Part of me wanted to keep this experience private, but mo part of me wanted to give the girl something that I didn't have. And I feel like I, I love giving the girl something that, you know, I, that I want. What I look for when I'm thinking about getting a surgery, y'all. I looked up so many videos and nobody video gave what I needed in order to feel secure in a place, secure in a doctor. So, if you're thinking about going to Dr. Pena or Lux Recovery Home, this is it. I rate my experience from surgeon to stay 10 out of 10. It's not nothing that made me uncomfortable or made me doubt anything. Everything was amazing. Um, I felt completely safe. My mom was actually supposed to come here with me. And then, like, after being here for, like, two or three days, I was like, just stay home because I'm fine. So... Y'all know I love my mama and I be feeling safe with my mama, but this place is just, the nurses are amazing. The staff is amazing. The place is really comfortable. And the girls you meet are super cool sometimes. Well, most of the time, all the girls I met was super cool, super nice. And it's really, it's a safe place to come by yourself. Especially being a woman. My bad, y'all. My camera running out of storage because I'm talking too much. But being a woman and us getting serious surgery and us being helpless, you want to feel safe somewhere. You want to be treated correctly. And, yeah. This place was it for me. I'm going home in two days. I'm going to miss it here. I'm going to miss all the nurses. I love all of them. But I'm going to go back in the room. I don't want to wake Kiana up. So, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. What's up, you guys? Hold on. Let's get a little light. What's up, you guys? So this is my doctor. Hello. <laughs> I'll be here with the princess of Nick Princess. She's a beautiful passion. Uh, she is the best. Period. He's the best. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. So, excuse me if it's a little dark in here, but... And I'm ashy child, but... Uh, it is currently, I don't want to get red, so let me cover my clay vision, but it is currently, um, January the 3rd, is it the 3rd, it's January the 4th, and I got my surgery December 18th, so I don't know how long ago that was, but you guys do the math. I wanted to come on here and show you guys to kind of like end this video off and show y'all how... I've been doing lately ever since I got home I do my massages every single day I don't miss a day um, in my butt I'm still like the back as an incision in the middle of my butt I'm still draining um, everything I really don't feel any pain a lot of pain my arms have gotten much much smaller I just wanted to give you guys like a little update of my body I'm still wearing I went down on Faha sizes probably like two or three sizes since you guys have last seen me um very very snatched right now I'm currently 
I have my board in my back and in my front. I'll cur I currently need a smaller size file hop right now because I'm on my first um, thing. So this is what it looks like. Let me show you. So I need to go and get my fajas um, altered smaller because now these are really compressing me at all. They're not really super tight. I have so much, so much room. But this is what I look like. This is what my hips look like. I still have a board in the back, y'all. So excuse me, my, mind you, my waist is just way smaller i keep continuing to get smaller my skin is super tight i'll do like a trial haul video and show you guys like my body um with clothes on if you guys want to see that but this is what it looks like right now hips are not dramatic at all i absolutely love them i feel like they fit me so well and he did so good on my arms and my back I love that little dip right here. Everything to me is a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love my body so much. Wanted to come on here and show you guys what I look like in my faha. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wanted to recover it. When I was um, on my way home, y'all, it was hell. Like literally, I felt like I was gonna pass out, so. Make sure you guys get the wheelchair because I tried to be big dog and I didn't get the wheelchair. And literally, it was whooping my ass, like whooping my ass so much. So get the wheelchair, try to make lit as least stops as possible. That's what I can say because we had two stops and one stop in, um, I forgot what it was. And we had one stop somewhere and then we had another stop in Atlanta and it was just hell. Uh, other than that, I got home the same day I got a massage, y'all. Make sure you guys are getting your massages and draining because you don't want your stomach or your sides to get hard or swollen. I did go out on New Year's and a lot of y'all was like, that's kind of where I did my pop out. I went out on New Year's Eve. Um, I did have a few drinks. And I wasn't swollen or anything like that. I didn't swell up bad. I just sleep in my faha every day. I also waist train. I don't know if this is good, child, but I like to do me. And sometimes I put this waist trainer on. Like when I'm walking around the house, I'll put this waist trainer on because my fajas need like refreshing. I put this to get tighter. And it just adds more compression. Put the waist trainer on, and then I'll just tighten it up. And I'll walk around the house like this. Yeah, the waist is just getting smaller and smaller. I just ordered some more on things. This is size medium. I gotta go into a small because these are now too big. But this is the body. This is what it's given. Shout out to Dr. Pinna and shout out to Lux Recovery Home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <sighs> I'll keep you guys updated on my recovery, but as of right now, no pain. Just in my arms a little bit. Um, little to no bruising. And yeah, I'm out. Yeah.